I am using a super pinky, which is essentially a kid's bouncy ball and a little nubbly spike ball. This one's necessary, this one's optional. I'll tell you where to get both, but for now, let's go. super precarious, but just in case you need it. The first place I'm going to take this ball and I'm going to essentially put it right where my heel and my arch kind of come together. I'm going to put that ball right there underneath my foot right there. And then from here, I'm going to put a bunch of weight on that ball and then kind of rock off of it. I'm starting on my right foot for now and just put some weight on there and come off and press it down and come back. I always take a small ball like this traveling just because it packs easy when you're traveling. You're usually walking a lot, seeing sights, doing things, and your feet sometimes get a little tired. Dogs start barking and this helps kind of relieve some of the stress of what your feet get put through. All right, the second place we're gonna go with this ball I'm gonna move it so that it's gonna go right under your toe ball joint. Toe, toe ball joint, gonna go right there. I'm gonna put my heel on the ground and I'm gonna reach my toe over the top like it's a little claw. And what I wanna, what you wanna try to see is try to see your little toe, the joint of your big toe kind of popping out. And so you're just getting a good stretch and a curl right around that ball and just hold it there. I have, I'm kind of leaning into it a little bit. I'm not putting, you know, a whole lot of weight, but I'm putting some pressure and some attention on that, on that reach around that ball, that, that grab. And then from here, I'm going to kind of stay there, but I'm going to move that ball to the middle joint. And same idea, my heel is still on the ground and I'm reaching over the top. Reaching, reaching, reaching. And this should feel good. Super pinkies you can find all over the place. Toy stores, grocery stores, they're just kind of a standard kids ball. I think I find them at Michael's every once in a while. Um, you can find them on Amazon, they're everywhere. There's no, nobody has a market on them. They're just standard super pinkies. And then from here, I want you to move the ball to your little toe. So I'm still kind of at my toe ball joint and reaching, curling those toes over the top of the ball and just keeping that pressure steady, aiming to get those little bones kind of popping out. You really are trying to get all the bones in your foot moving independently. A lot of times we put on socks, we put on shoes, and it just kind of turns it into one, your foot into one block. And so it's nice to really get the articulation and the feel of, of all the bones and muscles of your foot moving, and it should feel a little bit yummy. It does. From here, keep pressure on that ball, and with your toe ball joint, it's on the little side, and I want you just to roll it back to that big toe, and then right back to the little toe. I am just steadily going right along my toes, giving it a nice massage with that pressure on there. And again, this should feel good. I don't know if that's my version of good, but it should feel good. All right, hold it right there and then leave that ball on the ground. This time I'm going to kind of put some pressure and step on the ball with right in the middle of my arch. The very top of your foot has that bony bit that's called your navicular. And I essentially want you to put the ball right underneath that point there and put some pressure on that one. This one can be a little ouchy at times. It really pushes that foot, that pushes that arch up. And so, Sometimes our arches get a little sore from just kind of the constant pounding on the ground. So that little pressure on that arch sometimes is a little owie. You can also kind of, if you want to look into the Chinese medicine charts, I think this has to do with 
digestion and stuff. So, you know, take it if you want some research there. Find out if this hurts, if it's whether it's on your foot. See if there's any corresponding body parts that might need additional attention to. From here, I'm going to go right to the outside of my foot. So I was on the inside, now I'm going on the outside. Same idea, just putting some pressure on there. And everybody's feet is different, so one side might hurt, one side might not. Whatever works for you. Just keep working at it slowly but surely. I promise you, your feet will be a little happier. Gets a little blood flow to it, the bones are moving, which means the muscles are moving. It's good. From here, I want you to take your foot off the ball. I want you to put your toes on the ball. I want you to roll the ball forward, putting a bunch of weight. Roll the ball right to your heel. And then from here, light, light, light weight as you pull that ball back. So you're rolling from your toes to your heel, all sorts of weight. And then bringing it back, not a lot of weight. So press on that super pinky, roll through your foot all the way and bring it back to your toes. So all that massage energy is kind of going from your toes to your heel, kind of pushing stuff back up towards your body and back to your toes. One more time, you're gonna press lots of weight as you press on that ball. From here, we're gonna be done with our super pinky if you have the little spiky ball. If not, you can still do this with your super pinky. I'm just gonna put my foot on here and just real lightly shiver it around. So I'm just giving it a nice little roll on my foot and not pressing hard on this. This is kind of just a sensory waking up the nerve endings on the bottom of your foot. Good. From here, let's bring that foot down and just stand. Compare the difference. My right foot feels a little bit lighter, a little bit happier. And let's go ahead and work on that left foot too so they both get attention. All right, we're going to start at the back where your heel, right where your heel and your arch come together. So. Come here, little ball. Let's try and get away. Come here, little guy. And from here, and just rock. Put some weight on that ball. And then come off. And put some weight on that ball. And come off. And rock right onto it. And off. This is a nice, easy, gentle thing to do after you walk, after you're going dancing, whatever. This feels good for your feet or just whenever, if you just feel like giving some love to your feet. Your feet are important, they're your base. All right, hold it there. We're gonna move the ball to that toe ball joint, right there, and heel on the ground. I'm underneath my big toe, and then I'm gonna take that big toe and I'm gonna reach it right over the top, like it's a little claw, claw, claw. And I see my big toe ball joint, or my big toe joint kind of popping up the top. And that's what you want. You want to get that articulation of your toes. All that articulation of your toes and through your feet is very important, especially as we get older. You don't want to be one of those little shuffling old ladies. You need all that movement or old men, whatever. Either way, you want to stay active, functional, no matter what your age is. And this is going to help. From here, move that ball to your middle of your toe, your middle toe, you're still, still under those joints, aiming to get those toes reaching over the top and having those joints pop out the top. This is something that you can definitely work on. So if you're looking down and thinking, whew, I don't see any joints, don't worry about it. You can still increase range of motion with these things. So maybe this is something that you just need to do a little more often. That's not too bad, it's quick and easy. And move that ball to your little toe reaching over the top again i am leaning into it just to get that real curl around that ball and it feels lovely and from here i want you to go right under your navicular at your arch on the inside of your foot i'm going to put it right on the inside there and press some weight on it and you can come off there if you need it. And then put a little more weight on it. And while we're here, we're just kind of moseying through this. Remember, definitely subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see. 
I'm happy to take special requests. And also, if you have a hard time finding these balls, give me a comment and I can send you a link to somewhere to find these balls. From here, I want you to, again, you're staying in the middle of your foot, but you're going on the outside edge. So on your little, pink, on your little piggy toe side and press on that ball. And come on. And press on that ball. And come on. And press. And come off. Let's get one more little press onto that ball. And come off of there. And this time we're going to take that, that ball right onto your toe. My whole foot is lifted. And I'm going to put a bunch of weight on your toes and on your foot and really roll that ball forward with a lot of weight. Once you get to your heel, lightly pick up that foot and roll it back real light, hardly any touching, and roll from your toes to your heel. And lift up, and press it up. And up and back, rolling it, rolling it right through the middle of your foot. It should feel good, sad. And one more time, we're going to press that ball, roll it to your heel, and then go ahead and come off that ball. If you only have a super pinky, you can do this on the super pinky. If you have the little nubbly ball, nice and light, just kind of shiver around on that ball. I have hardly any weight on that ball. Most of my weight is on my left leg supporting me, and I'm just kind of wiggling it, wiggling it. And with that, there you have it. Both feet flat, wiggle those toes. Just make note, feel how they feel. They should feel a little lighter and a little happier. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.